is the best advice I think I can give anyone at any time. No matter what you're going through, no matter how you feel, we all know that life is hard, but all you have to do essentially is just get up and make breakfast. The reason why I say get up and make breakfast is because it's the process and you're going to have to trust the process. I bring to your attention St. Joseph. We all know St. Joseph and in fact if we think about it we only remember him vividly around Christmas time. But I say to you he is one of the greatest saints, apostles, disciples ever. It's just that what he did was so subtle and so beautiful that it's easily forgettable. And in fact, he showed us exactly how we should trust the process. Joseph is a giant in the kingdom. He didn't grumble, he didn't complain, he didn't say, this is the woman you gave me, he didn't do any of that. He did what the Lord told him to do. And, and it was only a person like that that God would trust with the, the most sacred thing. The most sacred thing was not the earth that Adam had. The most sacred thing was the Lord. And we all carry the Lord with us. We all are pregnant with the Lord within us. We all need somebody to walk that walk with us. And the Lord God found a ghetto man, a poor man, a man who has, who has experienced loss, a, a man who had a little bit of pride and thought he was doing well but learned better, but a man who would finish, run this race and finish. Get up and make that breakfast. Do not be deterred. You don't have to be a Samson. You don't have to be a Superman. You don't have to be a Superwoman. You don't have to be the, the, the greatest prophet or speaker. All you have to be is a person who won't be stopped. Don't be stopped. Trust the process and you will also complete your task. And when you complete your task, it's not for other people to, 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 to give you props. That's not what you want. You want to be pleasing in the sight of the Lord. He had run his race. He set an example for them all. In fact, in, in my view, he's a great apostle because he did something. See, the other apostles, when, when times got hard, they ran, they lied, they rejected. Joseph didn't. He sort of threw to the end. And, and he's among those quiet people. He, he, he is you in a way because there are times when you held fast. Don't forget those times. There are times when you're going to make the, the Joseph error too, acting towards your pride. But continue to replicate your days. Make that breakfast. Get up in the morning. Don't give up. Make your 90-day journey. And don't expect to, to be honored by men at the end. Don't expect anything. But expect that through all odds, you are going to make it. And in fact, through all odds, you already have. Well, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. We lift you up. We give you praise, honor, and glory. Touch people right now that they may always make it, that they would never get up, that they would get up in the morning and make that breakfast. They would trust the process. They would not think about pleasing man, but only pleasing you, that they would be satisfied just to carry out your will. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. And in your holy name we say, Amen. Ow, 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 ow.